Good afternoon and welcome to the weather briefing for the racing division of the 108th race to Mackinac. I'm meteorologist Chris Bedford. I want to remind everyone to keep monitoring the weather as you go up the lake. We are expecting some thunderstorms on the lake and these could become severe during the uh, day, especially on Saturday evening and into Sunday. So we'll want to keep a close uh, watch on weather conditions, especially coming off of Wisconsin, as I said, tomorrow, later tomorrow and into Sunday. Um, you'll be responsible for getting your boat and crew safe, and uh, these could uh, produce some very strong wind gusts, very heavy rain, hail, lots of lightning, and um, uh, some locally very rough seas, so uh, keep a close weather eye out and monitor the conditions. The National Weather Service will be uh, issuing warnings as necessary um, and you'll want to make sure you are aware of those once they're once they're published. Uh, we do have a race weather site uh, for you to go to and on this site there's some um, links to some grib data uh, and you can uh, Im import that grib data into your uh, routing software and display software and see how the forecast is looking. All right, let's look at the severe weather outlook for tomorrow. We see that uh, there is a chance of some marginal, uh, uh, there's an area of marginal probability of severe thunderstorms and a slight area across uh, Minnesota. Uh, this area moves uh, to the Wisconsin shore, especially, as I said, later tomorrow uh, and into Sunday. Um, so it looks like tomorrow morning should be okay and into the afternoon and evening hours, but then later on, does look like conditions may deteriorate on, a, deteriorate on the lake and we're expecting a, a cold front to go across the lake on Sunday, later Sunday and that could continue the threat of severe thunderstorms on the lake all day uh, so we have a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms uh, outlined by the Storm Prediction Center across the lake on Sunday. Once that cold front clears out then the air mass improves and uh, the risk has decreased uh, for, for Monday, so not expecting any severe weather on Monday. This is the uh, analysis as of earlier this afternoon. We see there's a stationary front across the lake. The actual position of this front may be a little bit further south than what's drawn on the, on the chart here, but basically just indicating a change in the air mass between the northern part of the lake and the southern part of the lake. I also want to draw your attention to this low pressure area developing out over the plains. We'll be talking about that uh, in the forecast here. On the uh, satellite picture, uh, just some high clouds, some debris cloud uh, across the area. Uh, there is some cloud development across northern Illinois, and in fact, there are some thunderstorms now popping, sorry, northern Iowa, and there are some thunderstorms popping in that area as well. Right now, um, I'm not seeing those as a big threat, but we'll want to keep an eye on them. Uh, looks like if they do uh, intensify, they would actually move sort of to the east-southeast, but, you know, it's not out of the question that a rogue one could could uh, extend a little bit further south and come across Chicago. Um, here's the Lake Winfield earlier this afternoon. It's basically showing southwest winds off Chicago here and then a southerly flow uh, up much of the lake. Pretty light, a um, bit stronger and close to Chicago, but then it's trying to go into a lake breeze uh, further up the lake. Uh, because of the light winds, the sea conditions, wave conditions are uh, relatively calm, so generally about one foot or less across the lake. And then here's the lake surface temperatures. They're actually warmer than what we had last year um, uh, at this time for the race, uh, which is good news, I guess. And uh, that can have an effect possibly in weakening lake breezes and strengthening land breezes a little bit, but I don't think we'll see uh, much effect from, from uh, the uh, lake surface temperatures of uh, this race. So here's the forecast chart for tomorrow morning. It shows a stationary front actually moves south uh, and lying just about across Chicago with a slight chance of uh, some showers in this area here uh, and thunderstorms as well. But uh, right now it doesn't uh, look like there'll be anything too significant for us to worry about. Uh, very light winds across uh, most of the lake tomorrow, perhaps a light easterly flow on the uh, north side of that uh, stationary. And then for start time, I'm expecting a little bit uh, of a lake breeze to develop uh, along the shore, so sort of northeast, heading east, and eventually southeast winds. I want to draw your attention, though, to this increased southeast flow across Wisconsin. That is ahead of a warm front that is going to be approaching uh, the lake and moving across the lake Saturday evening. And uh, we'll start to see more of this uh, uh, southeast flow into the lake um, 
uh, Saturday evening. So on the forecast chart uh, for 7 p.m. Saturday, we show that front, that warm front, just uh, southwest of the lake, and it moves across the lake overnight. And uh, here's the wind field at uh, uh, Saturday evening. And uh, then you can see the uh, warm front moving north across the lake overnight into Sunday morning. So the winds shift from a uh, sort of moderate southeasterly ahead of the front to a moderate southerly once the front goes through. Now, we may start to, this is about the time we may start to see some showers and thunderstorms moving out into the lake area. And uh, so, even though the wind field looks relatively simple, it could get kind of uh, messed up by any uh, cells that, that move out. And I'll show you some of that in a minute. The uh, warm front Sunday mornings clearing the lake to the northeast, and we have a cold front approaching from the west, and that cold front's going to move onto the lake uh, Sunday evening. So, uh, this is a, uh, a high resolution forecast for uh, early Sunday morning around 4 o'clock, and what we're seeing here is southerly flow uh, across the lake, southeast flow still up in the northern part of the lake. Uh, but this shaded area here shows where it's raining and in fact there's some strong thunderstorms on this particular forecast trying to move across uh, uh, onto Lake Michigan about this time and you can see the wind shifting to flow out of those cells. Uh, so again, this the, we can't expect the models to predict this exactly. What it's basically telling us is that there's a risk of this happening and it's giving us a conceptual idea of what the wind field might look like as these cells uh, start to move offshore. So we could expect the wind to shift to flow out of the cells and uh, also increase. And, you know, we could get um, uh, very strong wind gusts over 40 knots with, uh, uh, with these cells that, that move through and they could build up some very locally rough seas and lots of lightning, uh, perhaps even some hail, uh, and, and certainly some very heavy rain that would significantly reduce visibility. So it's, uh, these, are, these are to be um, respected and uh, you should take appropriate action uh, as, as they approach you. By Sunday morning we see the uh, uh, flow is all basically southerly, but again, this model here is not showing the effect of any uh, rain cells or thunderstorms that might be moving across the lake. Uh, but but, but uh, uh, as the day goes on, we're expecting the southerly wind to basically increase and veer a little bit more to the south-southwest or southwest, and we could see 15 to 20, maybe even 20 to 25 across the northern part of the lake. Uh, during Sunday, Sunday afternoon ahead of that uh, cold front. So here on the forecast chart we see the cold front uh, moving out uh, onto the lake and that will shift the winds to the west and uh, west-northwest and here we show that with the, uh, with the model with the south uh, westerly winds ahead of the front and then westerly winds behind. Um, the winds don't really s sustain themselves once the front goes through uh, it will get a little bit lighter after the front goes through. On Monday, Monday morning, that front will be out to the east, and we see high pressure uh, building in from the west. And initially, we may get a little bit of a build Monday morning uh, into mud, uh, midday on Monday, and then the winds will start to ease off, and we even could see some lake breeze effects starting to develop across the lake on Monday. So a short uh, period of increased westerly flow uh, with the front and then conditions w behind the cold front but then conditions will get lighter going into Monday Monday night and Tuesday and in fact here's the forecast for Tuesday we see the high pressure moving into the western lakes and we'll see much calmer conditions and lake breezes over most of Lake Michigan on Tuesday. I ran some routes uh, for a wide range of uh, boats of, dif of different speeds and pretty much they're all doing the same thing basically heading out on starboard in that sort of easterly component lake breeze uh, from the start going up the wind uh, veers around into the southeast as that gradient develops uh, ahead of the uh, warm front Saturday uh, evening this is about the area where we may start to see some thunderstorms moving onto the lake um, early Sunday morning so uh, we could get uh, some some variation there, but uh, basically with the wind veering from southeast to south, uh, we can just sort of head uh, toward the mark um, 
uh, at this point here, and it looks like it'll be a fairly uh, quick trip up outside of the effects of any um, rain cells. I'm expecting the um, faster boats to reach Mackinac before the cold front goes through. The uh, rest of the uh, division will likely get the cold front and the shift uh, Sunday evening, and um, <coughs> will likely finish in some some sort of westerly flow uh, through the Mack Strait. So that's a look at the weather. Again, be aware of the possibility of some severe thunderstorms, especially Saturday night into Sunday, uh, and take appropriate precaution as you need to. And uh, wishing everyone a safe and uh, fast trip. Good luck.